Pierce County Sheriff's Department did an outstanding job, and Detective Ellis Maxwell from West Valley City uh, also did an outstanding job. Do you wish you could have gotten more information or any information in about Susan Cox Powell? Well, uh, from the beginning, this particular case has never been about Susan Cox Powell. This has been a case about voyeurism involving the two victims uh, that are the defendant's former next-door neighbors. Can you file new charges against him? Oh, Susan was clearly a victim, so were a lot of other people. We've charged all the cases uh, that occurred in Pierce County that we can prove uh, at this point. So uh, I don't I don't expect that there are going to be any further charges uh, of voyeurism against Stephen Powell in Pierce County. Is you there a possi push b b possibility that Steve's sentence could be reduced if he chooses to share information about where Susan Cox Powell is? Uh, that's never been discussed. Uh, I don't expect it will be discussed. And you were asking about the possibility of an exceptional sentence. Uh, we do. Uh, plan to ask the court to impose an exceptional sentence. Uh, I don't know uh, specifically how much time we're asking for yet, but we're absolutely planning to ask the court to impose an exceptional sentence above the standard range. So to be clear, you have no plans to offer any kind of deal for information about the Susan Cox Powell case to Steve Powell as far as a reduction in sentence or recommendation or anything like that? We have no plans to offer him any type of reduction in exchange for information. It has not been discussed. Why couldn't you prove the lawyer is against Susan Powell? Yeah, I think you want to return that way. So why, why wouldn't you be able to prove that? Well, uh, the biggest hurdle that I see is a statute of limitations issue. And under the way, uh, under the voyeurism statute, we have uh, three years from the time the victim discovered uh, that he or she was uh, viewed, filmed, or photographed uh, without her knowledge or, or permission. Uh, and in this particular case, uh, we wouldn't be able to demonstrate that uh, it, that she uh, was never made aware um, that she was viewed or filmed by Stephen Powell. And so, uh, as a preliminary matter, I guess, uh, we have a huge statute of limitations issue that we're not going to be able to get around. And what's the statute say? Uh, it, it says three years uh, beginning when the victim first became aware that they're being viewed or photographed or filmed. Do you believe that she knew prior to that? Well, I can tell you this. Uh, we, can't, we can't prove that she didn't know. Because she's not here. Because she's not here. I'm just beginning comments. Can you talk about just your overall reaction to the case? And were you all worried at any point that this deliberations took so long? Well, uh, obviously, any time a jury is deliberating, uh, you're always concerned. I've been a prosecutor for uh, almost 16 years now, and no matter how strong you think your case is, no matter how well you think trial went, uh, you're always nervous when a jury is deliberating, and that's something that you just never get over. And this case is certainly no exception. What about the questions, the two questions they came back with, the fact that the judge, I think the second one, he said he couldn't even really understand what they were asking. Did that make you nervous if they really grasped and understood the evidence and the case itself? I've learned not to read too much into jury questions. Uh, it, it's easy to uh, it's easy to become stressed when the jury comes back with questions, and uh, I think people naturally want to understand what the jury's thought processes are. Uh, I've come to realize over the years that the questions that they uh, submit to the court don't necessarily give you insight into their thought process.